So you've pushed through the bugs and you're saving up that precious Alpha AUEC. You're now looking at your first decent ship upgrade. Will it be a light fighter? Only if you are dead set on bounty hunting or PvP, as there is no bed, interior or living amenities of any kind. Do you want a dedicated transport ship? Sure, but that gameplay loop is... How about a mid-size all-rounder such as the Drake Cutlass Black? The Cutty Black is the first major upgrade for a lot of people in the verse, and for good reason. 46 SCU, 2 beds, a man turret, 4 size 3 hardpoints and charming industrial looks, the Cutty Black has it all. This ship has enough space for light trading or carrying a mining rig, enough weaponry to rise you through the ranks of bounty hunting, and the functionality for anyone wanting to dip their toes in the multi-crew gameplay. However, all this functionality has its drawbacks. With big stonking engines that can be configured into a VTOL mode, the Cuddy is great at slow manoeuvres and finding its way through the black. Although, don't be fooled, those engines can only push this space brick to a top speed of 1115 meters per second. In atmosphere, the Cutlass flies like a brick too. You'll find yourself quickly disadvantaged in a dogfight over a moon or the planet's crust as you're drifting all over the joint and burning excessive hydrogen just trying to stay on target. With 46 SCU of cargo space and plenty more interior, the Cutlass Black might be your ship of choice when you want to pick up a ship that can do anything you feel like at a moment's notice. Want to go mining? Sure, just load up a rock. Want to do box missions? Did someone say easy access storage? Want to do some trading? Why not? Want to show a friend around the Stanton with two beds and a man turret? You'll have the firepower you need and a bed for each of you to log out in. Want to do some bounty hunting? Well, who needs good piloting skills and handling when you have guns, right? This ship will always be there to do whatever you want and it will do it decently well. It's by no means the best at anything, but it's rather good at everything. Equipped with four size 3 hard points, it come in stock with two gimbal size 2 repeaters and two gimbal size 2 gatlings. The Cutlass Black can participate in combat, although I strongly recommend that if space combat is your career path that you invest in a light fighter or another more combat specific ship. Yes, the capacitors and weaponry on the Cuddy means that it can deal a lot of devastating amount of DPS if your target doesn't try to evade you. Like I said earlier, the Cuddy Black is not a strong flyer and most combat specific ships are. High level NPCs and players won't struggle to avoid your fire and take out your vulnerable engines, rendering you useless. However, if you're just going to have one ship to do everything, the Cutlass will be your bounty hunter if you want to push a square peg through that round hole. Here is footage of me completing the VHRT in the Cutlass Black.
imaginations. Target is destroyed. The size 2 shield doesn't protect the cuddy for as long as you might want. It being such a big target, it will be easy to hit and those engines are going to be exposed in no time. The Cutlass Black has a very industrial aesthetic where everything seems to be made of steel sheets and everything is exposed for easy access. This ship is clearly targeted as a workhorse, something you don't mind getting down to business with, so it's something that can be easily or cheaply repaired. Personally, I think that the Cuddy reminds me of the Razor Crest from Mandalorian. With its big twin high mounted engines, I do love the charm that Drake brings to its ships, even if it looks like you bought it pre-owned and the wiring job for the dash has been done as a DIY project by the previous owner. In conclusion, I believe that the Cutlass Black is a great upgrade option for someone who hasn't got their heart set on a specific career path. You are given the options to bounty hunt, mine, trade, explore, and of course, fly yourself to FPS missions in this ship. Some of these professions require a bit more setup, however, the option is still there. This is a great vessel and well worth your in-game money, however, I don't believe it's worth the about $100 USD as a starter ship. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.